If you watch this video, you know I'm talking about you. Seriously, that was a huge mistake to you. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is your girl Nadesh Bulu. Please, if you're new in here, consider subscribing. And for my returning subscribers, thank you so much. Guys, in today's video, it's a story time. Story time that I've heard and I was like, I was always scared of sharing it like, will this person come back? But I just decided, let me do it. Let me share it so that you can learn something. Okay, let's dive into the video. This is not a video I've always wanted to do, but I've always been skeptical of seeing it, telling someone about it. The few people close to me, I told them about it, like just letting them know what is up, like how outside is dangerous. And this is what I received for Valentine, my fresh flower. Can you see that? I put it in water. So this story is a long one. It's so long. But I'll go to the most important parts and what led to what it led. Like, as you have seen from the title, is how my boyfriend, not my boyfriend, how a guy stalked me and almost slaughtered me. This is years back. If you watch my video of how I made my first you know, you'll know that years ago I was doing business. So, this is me going to Dwala for business and I had to go and come back the same day. Douala is the economical capital of Cameroon. I live in Yaoundé. So I had to get something Douala and come back the same day. On going now, this is the lost friend I found. Like a friend we haven't met for like 10 years. We did primary school and from one together. So we connected back. I don't know how she got my number and she contacted me. So we were like, oh God, I really want to see you again. All the stuff that you do to your friend when you meet them. So we got to talk and I told her I'm coming to Douala to do something and she said, whoa, she would love to see me. I said, okay, no problem. I was going to come back the same day. She said, well, please, I should pack a different outing. I can come back the next day. I'm like, well, I don't want to. She begged and begged and I accepted. Oh, mommy, I will not accept because it's been nine years we haven't seen ourselves. Even though we're close, we're two children. I don't know what you're become. What, how far are we still at that level we can talk? This is me going to Douala. On arriving Dwala, I finished doing what I had to do. I met her, we were so happy. So went to her place, we discussed, discussed. And in the evening, she told me, let's go out. I'm like, girl, I don't want to go out. She's like, please, let's go out and eat. She insisted a lot and finally I was like, okay, let's go. So when it was really close to her house, on eating, she said she wants to call one of her friends. And as of then, when we were talking, as we discussed, okay, what are you doing, what are you up to? I told her I had my boyfriend. She was like, okay. She had her guy also as of that time. So after eating, she called this her friend, this friend of hers. That was a guy. So the guy came and they were chatting. He greeted me. I greeted him back. So 30 minutes later, I asked her, like, can we go back? She said, well, please, this her friend wants to take us out. Let's go and drink. I'm like, I don't even drink. I don't love snacks. I don't know. I go there like that's once in a blue moon, but I don't enjoy sitting there because I'm always like, I don't drink and I always feel sleeping snacks. So it's always so embarrassing for me. Like I go somewhere, people enjoy and I'm sleeping. So I didn't like the experience each time I'm wearing it. So I just decided oh, I don't want to go there. So this friend of mine insisted again and I gave him. Went to the snack. I took matters. I was like, no, take something. Can you not take ice? I'm like, no, two matters. And I insisted and we came back home. So the next morning when I got up, she's like, girl, this is my friend is mad about you. He told me he loves you. He told me he likes you. He told me he can change you. This is my friend is super rich. She can change your life. I'm like, changing my life from what to what? Am I suffering? She's like, no, you're not suffering. You're doing well, but this guy, this guy has a lot of money. He can change your life. He can. I'm like, girl, I don't even need it. I did not even notice your friend. She's like, seriously, Ila, this friend was not a good friend. I don't even know whether she washes it or not. She can never be my friend again. Like, never. This friend of mine, as we're going to the agency, she called this guy to come again. Telling you that I'm not interested, it was not enough. She called this guy and he came. He dropped us. He had a very big car. That's what I noticed. A black car. Very nice. So, they dropped me in the park. And before I realized it, my ticket was paid. I thought she was the one because she was working. And she told me when I entered that that guy paid. It was a VIP ticket. I think it was ten thousand francs. I just said thank you, thank you, thank you so much. And I left. 
So in Yaoundé, this guy, this girl or oh man was in the place. He's asking why I know my. I think I'm not interested. She's like, okay, he's not even interested in you anymore. I don't know about your business line. And he wants to join. She said he wants to sell you things you can sell back. I'm like, okay, that's good. Give him my number. That's how he gave. She gave him my number. And once a while, this guy will talk. Once in the blue, like this, I'm in my mood. When I will see his course, I will pick. Sometimes I will see his course, I will not pick for like. He'll call for one week and I will not pick. So that's how it went on. He he used to watch my statues and he was like, Girl, you are so hardworking. I love you. I love the way you, you hustle for your money. This say you my hair as of then and every other thing. So this guy was like, Oh wow, I love your spirit. So he told me that since I'm in the airport, we used to receive a lot of package, like a lot of things. And I could easily sell it to you for you to make money. I'm like, that's a good idea. So from then, since he started telling me about those kind of things, like business-wise oriented, we get interested to talk more. So he just knew what he was doing. So he told me he has things that came. And it's a lot. So can you send so that I sell? Oh, how will you do it? I said, like, we can do a video because I see the things I buy it online, just send it to me. He's like, no, you can come to Douala, come to Douala back the same day. You just come and check the things. I'm like, I don't even have the kind of money because from what you're talking, we are talking about much money. He's like, no, I don't need to pay him. He trusts me and he knows me. So, what will happen is that I'll come to Douala and he will give me the things. Those were slippers as of then. He told me, it's like, 1000 pairs of slippers. I'll buy one pair for 500. She said, and I'll sell it to those who are supposed to sell it again. Like, I'll say in bulk, I'll cancel for 1000. I'm like, Jesus, this is 1000 pairs. I'm like, I'm in for it. So he was telling me that when you come, so he told me when the things will be available, he will let me know. I was like, okay, no problem. So this guy came to Yaoundé, like, after one week after he came to Yaoundé, he called me. Because most of the time when he used to come to here, he would call me and tell me he's in Yaoundé. I was always busy. So this time he came and he told me and I said, okay, on Saturday, I'll create time, we'll see ourselves. This Saturday, I didn't want to go out of my place like far. I was still at Tam Tam. So I told him like, can we meet around Tam Tam? That's closer to me. I don't really want to go to town. He said, no problem. He came. We spoke, we ate. Like he bought us lunch and I drank one matter. And that was it. He told me that when the things will come, he will let me know. I said, no problem. So the next Saturday or Friday, he called me that the things are there. Can I come to Douala, see the things and take it so we can start the business like sharp sharp. I'm like, Jesus, yes, I can come. This, I, I miss one place. Okay. This time around, I was in Tam Tam. So I was, okay, after the meeting, I was looking for a house. So while discussing with him, I told him that I was looking for a house to transfer to and i have seen so during the week i'll be leaving from my house to the new house i found he was like okay so this wednesday wednesday he called me and i picked and he told me uh we discussed and i later told him that i am on my way the taxi came to pick my things he's like okay why well, sorry he's not even remember not even remember he could send something for me i said no it's okay so why after talking he dropped the call and Five minutes later, I saw 10,000 francs in my account. I called him, I'm like, what is the money for? He told me he just wants to help me just pay the taxi. With, I'm like, thank you. And he called me that the things are there. Can I come and pick? I'm like, yes. They miss this part. Before that, he used to call me and tell me he lives with his sister. They say just like me. She's business oriented. She loves to look for her own money. That kind of thing. So I was like, so one day we we're talking and I spoke to the sister. This Saturday, I got up so early. I took my friend. That's Stephanie Brown. I'm like, see, since we are not doing anything, let's go to Douala, take the things. I will give you a part to sell. So I want you to sell, you can have your own gain. Like, I will sell to you at wholesale price so that you can just put in front of your door, you still make money. She was like, this is a good business. I was so excited about the deal. Like, buying shoes, ballerine, flat shoes for 500 francs. That's $1. And sell it in for like $2. That's 1,015, $3. And the things were, he told me it was 1,000 pairs of shoes. So just imagine my excitement when going to Douala. So we left on Saturday, knowing that we are coming that same Saturday because when we are going to Douala, it's for us. So we left very early and by 12, we were in Douala. 
they called him and told him, I am Ndwala already. He was like, okay, he's coming to pick me. So he came with his car, he discovered I was with my friend. So I told him I came with my sister because I want to teach her the business as well. She's like, wow, 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 he didn't plan for it. I'm like, plan how? He's like, okay, since I'm in the house, he asked me, when am I leaving? I'm saying today, I said, I'm leaving today. I just came to carry the things and go back. He's like, okay, since we are in the house, what we'll do is that, we'll first of all, eat. <coughs> we'll eat and let her go and see the things. I'm like, I don't even want to eat. He said, no, he insisted that we should eat that. It's nice fish, roasted fish. Dwala women can roast fish. He hyped those women until I'm like, okay, since we're in the house, my sister will stay here. We are coming so that we are safe. So that when I come, I just eat and we go. He said, no problem. So, Stephanie stayed there and I think I left my phone with her. I think so. And the power bank. So, I just went with a small handbag I came with. So, he told me that we will even leave his car here because of traffic. So I'm in the haze. We will drop my things here. My his car, we'll park his car and take a bike so that we can be fast. I'm like, that's good. That's the right thing. So on leaving, we just left and told, I told my sister I'm coming, that the highest 30 minutes I'm back because he told me it's not far from there. I'm like, okay, no problem. So we took the bike together and on going, we stopped in one car for, since I don't know that, I don't even know a car for, and there was a big building, like a hotel, five stars. So, so he told me, he asked the bike man to stop there. I said, is this the place where I take it? He said, no. But yeah, he has some stuff he wants me to say. I said, go and bring it. We started arguing in front of the bike man. They like, no, go and bring it now. Why should I enter and go and bring it? He's like, no, let's go together. Let's go together. You are the one in the house, but you still want to argue everything. I'm like, the bike man said, convinced me like, go, go. Guys, I didn't know the bike man was meshed with him. So I went, we climbed, and we entered one nice room in the hotel where he said the things part of the things were so as we entered guys as that guy just entered as i just entered he entered he closed the door and pushed me that guy pushed me i'm like what is happening why are you pushing me that guy started saying things i don't understand that guy was a psychopath like he was a he was mad that guy started telling me who do you think i am i'm like how nobody he said, do I think I'm too beautiful? A girl have never rejected him the way I did. I'm like, how did I reject you? I told you, I cannot just say, that guy, <laughs> Jesus. He started shouting. He told me there that, who do I think I am? That I've eaten his money and I think I can go free. I think I can just stay him. I don't want him. After eating his money, I'm like, boy, how much is that money that I ate? When did I eat? He started saying that he gave me two matters that first day with my friend. He paid my transport 10000 then he sent 10,000. The money was like 26,000 altogether. The money that guy was coming from. I'm like, please, I can pay your money. I can. He said he doesn't need the money. He's a millionaire, milliardaire. He told me that, do I think everybody can walk where he's walking in the airport? You need to sacrifice people. And I am the person he will sacrifice this time around. He will cut all my parts, my intimate parts, and sell it. Jesus. And he told me that he will rape me over and over before leaving me. At that point, I was cold, like I had nothing to say again. I kept quiet, I kept quiet and I didn't say anything. In my heart, I was meditating, I was crying, I was talking to God. So this guy told me that he's coming, that he will go and take my sister and kill her before coming to me. Jesus, I beg him, I said, please don't do anything to my sister, please kill me, leave my sister. So he went now. And told my sister that I asked for my phone so that I can snap and send her the pictures. Like he convinced her one of so, one kind of story. My sister was like, "Why is she not even back?" He take her phone when he wish. I want to talk to her. So he came back. It was not far from the agency. He came back. I was locked inside the room, guys. When he went, the ten fifteen minutes he left me inside. Miracle. Then I went on my knees, and that was the first time. I don't know if it was the first time I ever traveled my Bible, physical Bible, not even Bible in the phone. As I opened my bag, I, my Bible was inside, so I took my Bible, I knelt down, Jesus, I started praying, I started telling God that he said, 
he honor his word more than his name and he said his word those who call him he shall never leave them he will not fade them he, he said call on me and i'll answer you at that moment i will no more crying i was just telling god what i want to see 15 minutes later this guy came in when he came in he closed the door i was i was looking for a way to talk i was i didn't know what to say so I just looked at him and I said a prayer in my mind. And I was praying and looking directly into her. I said, Fire, he will not. My blood is bitter. He cannot. So this boy started crying. When I say crying, he started crying, running down, like, What is happening to me? What have you done to me? I'm like, Jesus. I started, I continued praying, praying, praying. The guy started, this guy started crying and. This is a kind of thing as if he's mad. He's like, okay, he's sorry, but he loves me so much. I'm the kind of wife he needs. He has money. But before that, what he told me that uh, that my friend, I should ask that my friend who he is, that she had one of her military friends, a gendarme friend, who ate his money and he dealt with her. I should ask her that did she not tell me who he was? I was like, so that my friend knew how bad this guy was, and she still allowed me to even talk with him. After telling her uh, uh, that I'm not interested, that's how he spoke. And he just changed his mind. I cried. He opened it back. He had a lot of money. He said, this is money he can give me. Why do I need to sell things? He doesn't have anything. He was lying to me. He wanted to ask me, will I date him? I said, yes, let me go to your day and we'll start afresh. But because I'm too... Now, at this point, I'm frightened. I cannot say anything. He should just allow me to go back to your day and we'll talk better. He said, to, okay, that I will I date him. I'm a good person. He allow me to go. But on one condition that you date me. I said, okay, let me go to Yaoundé and sit. I was talking to him about prayer that he needs to pray. Because this kind of thing is frightful. Like, nobody wants to be with a guy that cannot control himself. I don't know why I took the courage advising him. Telling him that what he did was so bad. He's like, normally, he could break me. He doesn't know what happened. I'm like, okay, no problem. So he told me that, let's go, let's go and eat. I will go. I'm like, I'm no more hungry. He said, you have to eat. I said, okay, let's go. When we went, I met my sister. She had finished eating. She looked at me, she like, are you not eating? I said, no, no, I'm not. Why are the things? I just want that girl, she's allowed to send the things. I don't want to tell her what happened before that. So that guy said, let's go. Because the agency was close, we went to the agent. He said, okay, we should go since we have the transport. So that's how we went. And when we went together, after being our bus, went in the bus. I cried. I told my sister what happened. Fast forward, like this story is so long. I don't want it to be too too long. I don't know if I'll come with it, but two. Fast forward, so this guy started stalking me. Like since he knew where I was living in Tam Tam, it was bad. This guy who keep because when I reached him, he called me. Ah, okay, I gave his own share. I gave his own share of the cake. So angry, and this guy told me, I think Yawunde is a time for him. Wait for part two. What will happen to me, Yawunde? He yeah, started stalking me. Like he would go for weeks without calling me. He would use a different number with a different voice. Like just calling me randomly. I'm like, hello, Nadesh. Yes, how far? This guy was a fan for me. How are you? I said, I did. What's I didn't know? I said, I did house. The house was say, stay tam tam. I'm like, who are you? He said, you don't abandon me. No, yeah, I'm not sure you don't abandon me. That kind of thing. She's not, I'm like, I'm not that kind of person. I will not, I will not speak. So that's how he used to change. Sometimes there were fan phones. Like, I was afraid to even walk in my neighborhood in Tam Tam because I knew he knew my quarter and the entrance. Even though I changed the house, I was still in Tam Tam. I don't want it to be long. If you're interested to watch the part, what happened, how this guy, this demonic guy transformed to something else, let me know in the comment section and I'll gladly do a part two because this story is already getting so long. Thank you for watching and please like, like my video. See you guys later. Bye.